Hi, my name's Paul. I just want to talk about a problem I've been having getting animations from iClone into Unity. So I shall show you how I've managed to solve it. Okay, so I've got this little animation that I've created using iClone's Puppet. So I'll just run this, show you the kind of thing. So it's quite a gentle little animation, just a little bit of gesturing while the character is talking. Uh, so I've exported that as a iMotion. And the way you do that is you come down to here and get onto the motion layer. And then you can say save somewhere in here. Uh, save clip. So I've created this thing called the Space Cadet R Motion file. So then you come into, well, first of all, if you do export here to create an FBX, you need to have this, uh, this extra tool to do this. So I've got a trial here, but really I don't want to use a trial. I just wanted to use Character Creator. So I don't want to pay the extra 400 pounds to be able to just have one feature to create animations. It seems crazy. If you go into Character Creator, and here's my character that I want to animate, and you say, well, okay, let's import the uh, motion. So you import it, and then he just looks in this kind of one frame of that motion. So it's not really that useful. So have you got the animation in Character Creator? Or not? I'm not really sure. So I would go to Export. Uh, export clothed FBX, picture Unity's picked on there. And typically you're in this mesh in motion. So you can just say, look, I want a, want a motion out of it. And you've got this thing called calibration or current pose. Now this is, this is confusing to me because the calibration is just like a little routine that the character does, but it's not the animation you want. Current pose, well, that's just going to be this, you know, standing tall, Pose. And again, that's not the animation I want. And if I bring these into Unity, then what you end up with is animations that just aren't the thing that you want. So, for example, the calibration animation, if you see here, I'll just run that. And it just goes through, you know, flapping his bones around. And that's about it. But that's obviously not the animation that I want. Um, or we get the T pose, which is fine, but not very helpful. Um, we come down here. Yep, T pose, calibration. So it's just not that helpful. Now, the trick, which I didn't really appreciate, is character creator. You, when you export from it, you don't really need to have a character in here at all because what you want to do is you come in here and you do clothed FBX. You can just say motion, so i.e. the character note is no longer relevant. And in custom, you can open up and pull in that saved motion from iClone. So I've got a couple in here now because I've done it before. Let's just do it once more. So then you have that. And you just press export here. So as far as character creator is concerned, it doesn't matter what character's in here because you're just going to get the animation out. And then what you get out from that is, if I can find my character here, here we are, uh, motion. So then you just get the animation out. I've got the mesh as well here in this case, but if you just export the animation, and there he is, his little, gestures all working fine. So I haven't had to pay the additional money to have the 3D FX export tool or whatever it's called. Um, I managed to go from iClone into Unity via Character Creator just by using that one menu here and by picking custom. This is the really crucial bit of it all. So I hope that's helpful to someone because it's taken me a long time to figure that out. Okay, thanks.